Hey guys, today is July 21st and I am 83 days post-op radioform flat phalloplasty and I wanted to go over urinating post phalloplasty. Um, so throughout this whole process, I first started with a super pubic catheter. I had that in for about five weeks. I was urinating through that. Um, once I started transitioning to peeing through my phallus, I had a voiding trial where I still had the catheter in. Um, I would close it and then peed with my phallus. Um, when doing that, I noticed I had a fistula um, but that did end up closing within three days of having my super pubic catheter out. So I was very happy about that. Um, now, maybe about like a month and a half later, um, I am having issues still urinating. Um, about a month ago, I had a UTI and I took antibiotics, um, but it did, it did seem to help for a little bit. Once the medication ran out, I did start developing the same problems again. So the things that I'm going through are when I try to go to the bathroom, it's more of a dribble instead of a instead of a strong stream that comes out and it does take me about maybe five to ten minutes to go to the bathroom and empty my bladder um, i did talk to the doctor and i am still continuing taking antibiotics to help with that sometimes there is some pain when i go to the bathroom if i hold it too long or at night when i haven't gone to the bathroom in a long time when i wake up in the morning it hurts throughout the day that seems to go away I've talked to a few trans guys and they've been kind of having the same issues as me and we're not really sure if it's a UTI or a stricture. Um, with a stricture, it's a closing of the urethra or a narrowing of the urethra, which would cause the urine to have issues trying to come out, which again would lead to the dribble. Um, but also, it could be a UTI. With the UTI, we think it's um, inflammation of the urethra which causes sort of a stricture but not necessarily one it's just due to inflama inflammation that's why we think that the antibiotics are working um so we aren't really sure i do have an appointment coming up with another doctor at the crane center since dr safer left so i will have a consult with him i believe august 3rd um, but until then i'm just going to continue taking my antibiotics there have been several times that i haven't been able to go to the bathroom at all what would happen is I would feel like I'd have to go to the bathroom. I would go um, and nothing would come out. I would just feel um, a lot of buildup behind my balls and it would hurt really bad. So what I did is I started taking this uh, medication when that happens. It's um, a UTI medication called Azo. This is just the generic brand. But what it does is it, it turns your pee orange, um, but it helps with the pain when urinating and it also helps with any inflammation. Um, so with that, you're only supposed to take it for two days in a row, not really anything after that. Um, so I did take that for two days. It initially helped, helped me pee, um, but a continued use of it doesn't really help. So I'm not really taking that anymore unless I really need it and I can't go to the bathroom at all. Currently, I'm just doing the antibiotics. Because I'm still having um, issues emptying my bladder when urinating, I do still have dribble sometimes when I go to the bathroom because I'm not really sure when I'm done or not. Um, I try to get out as much as I can by by like squeezing or shaking or like milking my phallus to get all the pee out, but sometimes you never know um, if there's any left. So what I do is I put a gauze pad at the tip of my phallus before I put it in my underwear and I'll show you guys what I use. So I get these extra large surgical dressings from Walmart. I think this box is like $3.98 for um, 12 of them. I don't use a whole one though, I cut it, so I'll show you. So it comes in a thing like this. Open it up and then I cut it into, um, into thirds so I can use it three times. So then I take this when I'm done going to the bathroom and I put it at the tip of my phallus like this and it just um, sits in, in my underwear and then it collects any um, dribbles that come out. Um, so I do find that very helpful so I'm not getting anything on my clothes. And then I also bring extra with me um, whenever I go anywhere or I think I'm gonna be gone all day just in case I need to change that. I have tried using toilet paper um, in cases where I ran out or I didn't bring anything with me, um, but it doesn't really hold that much so um, it ended up just getting on my clothes anyway. So I would recommend getting um, those extra large surgical dressings or any type of gauze dressing that will definitely help um, catch anything that, that comes out um, if you're having trouble emptying your bladder. Again, like I said, I've, I've talked to a lot of trans guys um, who have going through the kind of the same issue. They're all on antibiotics as well as I. 
as I am, um, and we're kind of just trying to figure out the, the reason behind it. Um, we think that because it's kind of hard to get out all the urine, the urine um, because our urethra now goes like this, there's some that could be left over at the little, um, in the bottom. Um, we think that if there's urine that gets stuck in there and we aren't able to get it out, that's what's calling, that's what's causing the ongoing UTIs, um, which then cause the issue trying to pee. You know, I really hope that this isn't something that need, that requires surgical attention. I've, I've heard of um, a solution called dilation where they insert um, a metal rod inside the urethra to widen it out. Um, so I'm definitely gonna talk to the, the surgeon about that when I have my consultation um, in the first week of August. There's one thing I wanted to show you guys too. When you're first using the urinal or um, you don't wanna take your clothes off, um, there's one, if you're wearing shorts, there's a way that you can go to the bathroom without taking your clothes off. What I do is I just lift up the leg and then phallus is right there. With my underwear, um, I use separate tech, so it has its own separate pouch, so you can just lift it up um, and then it's right there. Um, if you have a regular underwear that has a fly, then you can go ahead and whip it out through that. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that's an easier way to um, use the stall or the urinal without having to lower your pants if you're wearing shorts. Um, but if you're wearing pants, you can't really do that. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to comment below. I'll definitely respond or answer the questions in a following video. Um, I am going to be doing a giveaway at a thousand followers. I haven't decided yet what it's going to be. So I'll definitely think about that and let you guys know. Um, but at a thousand followers, I will be doing a giveaway. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.